Hi, I'm Bill Nemitz, and we're here today with former Maine U.S. Senator Olympia Snow. Welcome. Thank you, Bill. You have been a busy woman lately. Absolutely. And uh, I'm going to start this just by pointing out one thing now that you're no longer in Congress. Uh -huh. I checked RCP's <laughs> average polling today, mm -hmm. and Congress now has a job approval rating of 13% which I guess is a little higher than it was before. Yes. Now, you have been working quite mm -hmm. hard over the last two years or so mm -hmm. to, uh, to change right. this as a member of the uh, Bipartisan Policy mm -hmm. Center, mm -hmm. and you just released your report last week, which was governing in, po in a polarized America, a bipartisan blueprint to strengthening our democracy. Tell us a little about that. Is this pie in the sky, or can you get something done here? No, I think uh, we can get something done, and it's important to get something done for the country and engaging the public uh, to become involved in asserting their voices in this process. And so this was a commission uh, that I co-chaired along with two former majority leaders, one Democrat and one Republican. And the Bipartisan Policy Center actually was founded by four former majority leaders, including our own uh, Senate Majority Leader, uh, George Mitchell. Mm -hmm. And it has been uh, a very important process because there's been a, this commission of 30 commissioners on both sides of the political aisle from all spheres of life. And uh, we worked for almost two years um, and had held town meetings um, in four places around the country and uh, develop these recommendations that focuses on congressional reform internally, how Congress works and doesn't work. Obviously, we know that from its low level of productivity. Mm -hmm. And then secondly, uh, the political changes in the campaigns and, you know, primaries, uh, having open primaries and independent redistricting commissions to, you know, avoid the gerrymandering that has basically uh, made very few competitive districts um, in, in the U.S. House of Representatives, and, among and other things. And that's one of the, one of the recommendations Absolutely. Is, to, is to reform that redistricting process. You know, the, the people out there on the edges have done a very good job in recent years with uh, connecting and, 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 you know, creating bases, getting those bases mm -hmm. riled up. How do you wake up that big middle? You know, how, how yeah. do you get them to translate what your recommending as a commission into real hard action? No, that's a very good question. First of all, give them solution specifics. People want specifics. Secondly, is giving them an avenue, you know, a path forward. And that's why our commission and our website is going to create a Citizens for Political Reform already has launching that movement where people can look at the recommendations, what they can do in their own states. Uh, to turn around with petition drives and citizens referenda. I often say if I wish I could get out there and just hand, mm -hmm. you know, circulate petitions, gather signatures, because you can get it done. Because people know something's fundamentally wrong, for example, to have so few competitive seats remaining in the U.S. House of Representatives in the gerrymandered districts. In open primaries, where mm -hmm. now you just get the very hard base, right. ideological Six, base. Six, seven percent of the Yeah, it's yeah. terrible. Mm -hmm. And then right. basically, uh, determining who's going to serve in the U.S. House of Representatives the United States Senate mm -hmm. because ultimately they become uh, the victor mm -hmm. uh, in a general election. So if people want to find out more about this, they go where? A bipartisan policies, uh, a .org. And they can sign yeah. up and They can uh, sign up Citizens for Political Reform and get involved and do. I'm urging them to speak up and get involved and uh, don't let the small minority in this country determining our future. Well, those are the marching orders. Thank you very much Thank for that you, and Bill. thanks for visiting us. Thank you. Us.